week of Septuagesima, Sunday, Jesus gives pastors to his church. And I will give you pastors according to my heart, who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. Jeremiah 3, verse 15. Dear Redeemed, the Son of God promised to provide his church with the gift of pastors. These qualified men are called to care for the people of God under their pastoral care with the Word of God and according to the heart of Christ. They provide spiritual food for the children of God with knowledge and understanding. Knowledge emphasizes the teaching of pure doctrine, while understanding implies the application of the doctrines of law and gospel to the church as the children of God feast at the table of the Lord. Pastors are to be like John the Baptist, always directing their hearers to Christ and bearing witness to the truth that Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Therefore, pastors are not the head of the church and not the focal point of the doctrine and practice of the congregation. They are called to be decreasing even as Jesus is always increasing, or as the Bible states, after these things, Jesus and his disciples came into the land of Judea and remained with them and baptized. And John also was baptizing in Anan near Salim because there was much water there. And they came and were baptized, for John had not yet been thrown into prison. Then there arose a discussion between the disciples of John and a Jew regarding purification. And they came to John and said to him, Rabbi, he who was with you beyond the Jordan, to whom you have testified, behold, he is baptizing, and all are coming to him. John answered and said, No man is able to receive anything unless it has been given to him from heaven. You yourselves bear me witness that I said I am not the Christ, but I have been sent before him. He who has the bride is the bridegroom. But the friend of the bridegroom, who stands and hears him, rejoices greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. Therefore this joy of mine is fulfilled. He must increase, but I must decrease. He who comes from above is above all. He who is of the earth is earthy and speaks of the earth. He who comes from heaven is above all. And he testifies to what he has seen and heard, and no one receives his testimony. He who received his testimony has certified that God is true. For he whom God has sent speaks the words of God, for God does not give the Spirit by measure to him. The Father loves the Son, and has given all things into his hand. He who believes in the Son has eternal life, and he who does not believe the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God remains on him. John 3 verses 22 through 36. Once again, can there be any doubt of the difference between condemnation and salvation, between hell and heaven? Those ignorant of or denying the truth that Jesus is the Son of God who died and rose again for them will only see everlasting death. Those given the gift of faith in Jesus have eternal life, and this is not their own doing, but rather it is the gracious work of the Holy Spirit working through this good news. This is the ministry and message of true pastors who feed the church of God, which he has purchased with his own blood. Acts 20:28. 20, Prayer. O Lord Jesus, Son of God and Son of Man, who has provided your church with the gift of pastors who are called to feed those under their care with the spiritual food of word and sacraments, please guide, guard, and protect them from attacks by the enemies of your gospel, and from attacks of pride, envy, coveting, and greed arising within these men. Visit them with your word of law and or of gospel as is necessary and appropriate for each one. Grant them to know that their salvation, like mine, is by grace alone, through faith alone, in you alone. Amen. Hymn number 485, stanza 2. Help them to preach the truth of God, redemption through the Savior's blood, nor let the Spirit cease. On all the church his gifts to shower, to them a messenger of power, to us of life and peace. 